Sejedi and Intel have partnered up to bring you this year's Gaming Hackathon. A chance for the talented tech teams at Sejedi to showcase their skills by bringing brand new game-changing ideas to the esports and the gaming industry. This year, we set our participants with three AI and Gen AI based challenges. How to leverage AI in gaming innovation, using AI to support building communities, and how AI can be used to help game studios and developers. We've narrowed down the 36 teams to our final six. Our judges, who consist of figureheads in the gaming industry, will be deciding which idea best represents the future of AI in gaming. Intel will also be keeping a close eye to see how our teams integrate the AI Game Dev Toolkit and XE Super Sampling SDK. The top three teams that impress our judges will win some amazing prizes. We have a MetaQuest 2, a Rabbit R1, and some Amazon vouchers up for grabs. Good luck and game on. Good afternoon and good evening, game enthusiasts. We are Team Gaming Nomads, and we will take you on a journey of emotional intelligent NPCs that would redefine the gaming experience. We introduce you to emotional intelligent NPCs, our AI-driven characters that are adaptive to human emotions. So here is the demo. Hi, Phoenix. State your purpose. I'm here to provide personalized guidance, advise on moral dilemmas, assist with in-game purchases and sustainability scores, and much more. How can I assist you today? Can you help me find weapons for my Fortnite quest? Absolutely, I can assist with that. After you play the interaction with the NPCs, so once the game is done, so the NPC will create a scoreboard for the players. So what's next? We planned out a three-phase approach to go to market with these emotionally intelligent NPCs. So game enthusiasts, join us in changing the gaming ecosystem. Picture a gaming world that is so, so vivid and teeming with life that it captivates your imagination, blurs the lines between the game world and the real world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to present our solution here today. We are The Cake is a Lie. Many games try to generate dynamic content where you, for example, can meet a random character and is given a quest to perform. But after a while, the player realizes that the dynamic content is just scripted events. What is our approach on how to solve this, Yuan? First off, we start by using uh, or harnessing the power of large language models. And we use them to create the dynamic content for our game worlds. Content that are tailored for the game that we're playing. Furthermore, we create dynamic side quests. So we built a simple API and a, a simple front end for our solution. Let's see if we get any characters. Uh, there you go. Uh, we got the uh, character. We told the model to give us these specifics in this kind of format so we can use them in our game. We think that there's actually no limits what you could do here, so let's start the gaming revolution together. Good day everyone, we're Team Touching Grass. Our project and application aims to bridge the gap between gaming and real world social impact. We brainstorm problems within the gaming community and how technology and AI could help the addictive and isolating nature of gaming. Our solution is Grass, the gamer's resource and social suite, an AI-powered mobile app that creates real-life quests based on popular video games, reflecting individual player interests and designed with social components to help build stronger communities. In this demo, we collectively are a brand new user and our goal is simply to witness the magic of touching grass. In this quest, we are restoring the once vibrant benches of Elderwood Park as they have succumbed to the ravages of time and neglect. Astounded by these digital mysteries, we decide to go see our friends and see what quest grass has generated for them. Taylor noted their preference for self-development and mental well-being, so grass suggests self-improvement quests like mindfulness and yoga challenges. We looked at Fortnite's active user base and their spending habits, which overlap with our intended audience, giving us a glimpse into the potential reach and monetization opportunity for Grass. We are the Touring Titans. Our problem statement is that players get tired from extended gaming sessions and cause performance drops and frustration. So we've come up with a solution and named it Alert IQ. Alert IQ will utilize OpenVINO and determine if a player is less alert and incentivize them to restore alertness using external techniques as well as in-game rewards. On to our business use case. We chose the game World of Warcraft. It's been around for 20 years and it has over 5.5 million active subscribers as of last year. 
and it's known for its long gaming sessions. For our example, World of Warcraft, there are a few ways we go about detecting alertness drops in the game. We first would gather in-game data, tracking their performance metrics via their inputs, actions, reaction time. The second method is using camera-based monitoring. An example of what alert IQ may look like in World of Warcraft. So here, at first glance, it may not seem like much, and that is actually the, the intention here. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see uh, a chat message that is has a background of orange. We don't want it to be intrusive. Our focus is on live service gaming and, and how that gets monetized. For our approach, we um, would utilize AI to actually generate cosmetics for those season passes and also introduce a, a, a rarity system uh, to generate those cosmetics. You know, I know quite a few players that, that you know want something that nobody else has, right? And then also, you know, utilize AI to consider player engagement, um, so their preferences, um, and also maybe even their spending patterns. So this is our, our battle pass. The user would click here. It's something that's included with the gaming pass. So let's do that now. And then the users are presented with a text to image prompt box here where they can enter input their text and then hit the button and it'll generate them. We also have the idea of, of creating a survey or asking them a couple of quick questions just to uh, get that input output from them. Here it comes with a couple of options and then the user can cycle through those options, uh, equip it, these are just an example of something that Jane and I can come up with. When you go about implementing these ideas, how do you make sure that all of these interesting things work as they are intended? And how do you do it efficiently, right? So that's what we are about. We are game test automation X. We want to bring the X factor in improving the player experience. And how do you ensure seamless experience about all of that? Well, we feel that the gaming industry has gone about this in a, in a completely wrong way. We feel there is a there is a better way of doing it. We feel that, uh, again, we are not naive. You cannot really uh, validate a player experience by using technology. So it needs to be an interplay of both, which is really what we hope to show with the solution. So what we, what we want to do is to, uh, we envisage a future where technology interplays with humans to build, uh, you know, the seamless player experience that we're talking about and to make uh, good games great. Congratulations to Gaming Nomads, The Cake is a Lie and Touching Grass for winning this year's hackathon.